Hello everybody, I'm Roy Falk and oh boy am I excited and I can't wait to show you the solutions that we have come up with to make a vanilla Minecraft server work more as if it has plugins installed. I'm not going to talk about the basic basics of setting up a server. There's a lot of really good videos on the on YouTube about that and I, I don't think I can make a better video than that. For example there's a a video by Nix Games called how to start a server in Minecraft 1.8 which explains how to download start up the server set up the port forwarding not going to talk about that what I like to talk to you about in part one is ways to protect a large spawn area on a vanilla server so to protect the entire vanilla um, server spawn area and there's quite a few good ways to do that. In part two, I would like to talk to you about how you can make sure your new players that joins for the first time spawn exactly at the exact coordinates you want them to spawn. Vanilla servers are notorious for spawning players all over the place. And um, you don't have a set spawn command in a vanilla server um, like you have on a bucket server, but I think we've come up with a really good solution and we can tell you uh, more about that in part three I'm going to show you how you can simulate Functions that works like the commands That you are familiar with or your players are familiar with when they played on bucket servers before um, in service with plugins uh, commands like forward slash spawn forward slash set home and forward slash TPA which allows players to uh, teleport from from one player to another those commands are not available on a vanilla server and I'll show you how you can go about to make that possible without commands in part 4 we're gonna have some real fun with command blocks like spawning a skeletal horse um, or like hitting hostile mobs with lightning so we can have a bit of fun and I'll show you how I do those uh, those commands in command blocks now I just want to say a quick thank you uh, to private security for providing me with a copy of the minecraft.geek.nz server map I've worked with him to set up the command blocks uh, for his server and then I want to give credit and thanks to Ragnos for the inspiration and the ideas I, I got from watching his videos. So guys, join me in the next video, part one. I see you there.